It's been nearly a month since protesters armed with tiki torches and pitchforks showed up to protest at Representative Greg Cheney's home. Their goal to show this disdain for his bill, which ironically would ban protests at private homes. Cheney introduced that legislation last month with Representative Brooke Green. The bipartisan bill was drafted after several protests took place at the homes of elected officials and non elected officials over the last year. In November, you might remember protesters stood outside Boise Mayor Lauren McLean's home over their frustrations on mask mandates and COVID-19 restrictions. Former Ada County Commissioner Diana Lachiando's home was also targeted while her two sons were home alone. The protesters arriving outside making all kinds of noise and they were upset over a proposed health order. Backers of this bill say it, need, it is needed or was needed, I should say, to prevent things like this from happening. People or mobs terrorizing or trying to intimidate officials and their families even to deter others from wanting to get into public service in the first place. Those opposed argue it was an infringement on their right to free speech and that sometimes the only way to, hurt, to be heard is to show up and make some noise. And those who disagreed with this bill certainly were heard. I keep saying was because this bill was put to rest after an intense debate on Tuesday. Lawmakers voting 38 to 31 to say protesting outside people's homes still okay.